Hi, it's Jim with Star Fence and Gate. We're out in Woodway, Texas today working on a U.S. Automatic Patriot. Uh, system's probably 10, 12 years old. Uh, customer put his own Optima battery in there. Very simple operation. Only thing on here is a remote. Uh, the timer's turned off to close. Customer opens and closes the gate with a remote only. Um, he was having a problem with the right side motor being sporadic in opening and closing. So what we did is we just unwired an old operator, older operator arm I had on the truck. Uh, we cut the red and white power wires, uh, removed all the wiring off of the circuit board, and then just re-ran that the old wire into the older motor and we've got the gate to work so we're able to save the customer uh, quite a bit of money having a, a used operator arm on the truck and just changing out wiring basically and then uh, running through the system making sure it works great we'll uh, open the gate here in just a second ready yeah once you move out of the way So on the open, on this right side gate, it was stopping about right there. So now you can see we've got a pretty much a full open. He's got a very wide driveway. And that's the slave gate on the other side. And then we'll close it here. We'll see that the gate comes to the middle and stops. Perfect. Hit that open close button on the board, bottom left black. So we just had this arm from another customer's job and uh, just swapped it out here. So <clears throat> these motors are very simple. You can see the housing I took out here to get the wires out. The back of the motor is simply just uh, five bolts that go in one two three four five and that's it they're very easy to work on uh, this customer will be happy now thank you so we're going to show you while we're here how to take off this uh, the limit assembly and the circuit board because i did put a newer uh, board and limit switch on his older motor here so what you have to do is you have to take this and that off and that takes this plate off and then you can remove the limits and then you can get access to these four screws on the circuit board and then we'll save this unit here for another uh, gate repair I think of this motor part is actually shot unless I want to take it back to US Automatic and have them repair it, but it's probably not worth it. Okay, so he's taking, once you loosen them, you can pull them out. These first two are pretty long. Because you got to think that that limit right there is traveling back and forth and then it's hitting the limit switch. So the reason those are so long is it's going to go back into this shaft down here and be secure to the motor Stand up. got a 10 year old helper today guess or no So since my son turned the camera off accidentally here, what we did at the end of the video here is just remove the circuit board and limit switch assembly from the back of the motor to save for another job. It's simply about uh, eight screws. Um, the circuit board and limit will come out all together if you take out the four screws on the circuit board. And then you just have to take out the two long screws like we did in the beginning. 
Thank you for watching and apologize for missing the last part of the video. Thank you.